Good morning! It's Saturday. It's time for a new weekly vlog. So it is pouring here. I am just getting home from Kelly's. I stayed there last night. It's after noon and I came home to do laundry and the things and then I'm actually going back and then Kelly and Kaylin and I are going to have a game night tonight. So I'm going to eat lunch. I grab Taco Bell, Nachos Bell Grande for me and mom and get the laundry done, try and get the video edited and do my usual Saturday things so that I'm ready for the week because tomorrow we have plans. Um, but yeah, so it's Saturday. I'm really glad it's Saturday. Five more weeks of school. Five. I can make it. I can make it. This should be fun. So I just got in the car. It's still pouring, which I, I just got out of the shower, so my hair's wet. But I, there is like a puddle of water, probably an inch deep, right next to my driver's side, and I'm wearing flip flops. So it's fun. And as you can see, I did get rained on. Got my stuff in the car though. So I'm heading back to Kelly's. We're having a game night tonight. I won't be home until Monday morning before I go to work. So it is what it is. Good morning. It's Sunday. We are on the way to the main street. Arts Festival. Ellie texted me this morning that she is also going with her friend. So we may run into her. We're going to meet up with my friends, Brianna and James, who Kelly hasn't met yet. And meanwhile, get a load of this absolute hottie. <laughs> no hottie. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, but yeah. Cutie. Nope. Yep. Hanging out with cats Hi. and dog. I gotta take a picture of my friend again. Hey, my friend, my friend! Please don't leave. What are you doing? Uh, I'm driving. <laughs> uh, there's mud on me. Oh no. Okay. Are you swinging like no other? It's a little cold. It's a little bit chilly. You gonna get a little beach towel It's blanket. cold, but it shouldn't be cold. Because it's almost May. Yeah. What's Stupid. happening? It's Texas. I wanna I just wants to go swimming. It's there is. Cold. It's Mama. Good morning. It's Monday. I absolutely suck at closing the vlog lately. But it is freezing cold. It is 46 degrees out right now. And that is stupid. It's April, what, 21st? 22nd. April 22nd in North Texas and it's 46 degrees outside. Ridiculous. Yesterday we had a lot of fun with Brianna and James and um, going to the Main Street Arts Festival. I showed you some clips. But um, later that evening we ended up going to pick Ellie up from their house and bringing her over to Kelly's for a little bit. Parrish and Greg had a um, kind of poker night thing for a neighbor and Ellie just, I think, just wanted to get out of the house. So she came over and we played Uno some more and she played with the cat, as you saw. I think I showed some clips of that as well. So she played with the cats outside. It was cold. <laughs> and then she just kind of lost interest in Uno. So she talked to her friends while Kelly and Kaylin and I continue to play Uno. But anyway, today I am staying home. I'm probably going to make some dinner and just spend some time with my mom because I haven't really seen her. So, um, that is the plan. Tomorrow I have a staff meeting and I don't know anything beyond that, but I will check in with you guys later. Hello, I am home. It is still Monday, but um, I don't know what the plan is for dinner. I am going to try to work on my um, business stuff today for the first time in a while. So um, I have a small teachers pay teachers business that I have not given a lot of attention to in the past couple of months. 
three months almost. I wonder why that is. So anyway, I'm home. It was a good day. I'm glad it's over though. Three, four more Mondays to go in the school year. So that's exciting. All right, I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. So it's about eight. I'm in bed. I'm tired. I ate way too much for dinner. We ordered from Mexican Inn, which is kind of a Fort Worth staple. I got nachos. I think I might have eaten three or four of them. And just, it just, I couldn't eat. I couldn't eat tonight. So, I'm really full. Um, I'm going to play a game for a little bit. Probably talk to Kelly, hopefully. I think she passed out, so I don't know. Um, she may just sleep through the night. Um, which would be fine, because she needs it. So, anyway... I'm going to play a game for a little bit. My hair's hot mess. Sorry. My my nails are looking a little bit better on my discoloration journey. They're still yellow. They're not quite as bad as they were. I've been using the, I think it's called Shine Bright. I'll link it down below. I got it on Amazon. It's supposed to take like the discoloration away, but you've got to like use the nail brush. And so I've been trying to use it at least once a day. Today I used it twice. Saturday, I think I used it three times just to see if it improves at all. But, um, and then I used nail oil that I got from Holo Taco, um, which I'll also link down below, but I showed it, I think in my, um, video last weekend. So anyway, I'm going to read, play games, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. It wasn't a very eventful day. Sorry. We did watch Palm Royale though. Episode six. Good morning. It's Tuesday. I am wearing another one of the t-shirts that I got um, today, or it's Autism Awareness Week, and so today um, the, the thing is to wear blue. I guess this is blue. It kind of looks purpley to me in some lights, but it's what I had. So that's what I'm wearing. Meanwhile, I didn't get much sleep last night, but for the second day in a row. So I'm going to just like power through. I, I got this. I was surprised yesterday that I was not exhausted because I just did not sleep Sunday night. And then I went to sleep really late last night, got up at like five, um, I'll be fine. And this is already, this is already falling, but my hair is getting really long. So anyway, that is the scoop. I don't know what we're having for dinner tonight. I probably need to cook something, so that may be what happens. Meanwhile, that's all I really know, so I will check with you guys later, and bye. I am home for the day, and I'm really tired. I have not got mu gotten much sleep the past two nights, so I need to try and sleep tonight. But it was a good day. I'm glad it's over. And tomorrow's Wednesday, so it's hump day. I'm really excited to get rid of the gray on Saturday. I'm looking forward to that. Um, what's weird to me is that my gray hair tends to have a different texture than the red. I mean, like, look at that. Look at that right there. That's nice. Um, it has a different texture than the rest of my hair. So it'll be interesting to see, like, what that looks like. And as far as, like, it's gotten really long. Like I feel I've noticed it more like the past couple weeks. So I think I might just get, you know, the ends trimmed. I really don't want to like lose any length, but just get a little trim on Saturday. So I'm looking forward to that. And yeah, I don't know what's for dinner. We're probably going to order. I'm not going to lie. Um, I don't really have any updates other than that. So tomorrow I'm pretty sure I'm going to see Kelly. I just don't know what that's going to look like yet. I've got to make a plan because I don't know if I'm going to go right after school up there or if I'm going to have like time to come and get my stuff together. So I've got to figure that out tonight, this evening. Um, and then Thursday I'm going to be up there also cause after school because I'm picking Caitlin up from school and then she and I are going to go do a couple of things together. So that should be fun. And... That is my update for now. Well, the dinner plan is Whataburger, which I'm going to pick up now. Kelly will be so proud of me because I downloaded the app because Kelly is the queen of all the food apps. And I ordered on the app. I guess she's rubbing off on me a little bit. Dinner and Vera. Well, it's been another uneventful night in my life. 
I'm in bed. Probably gonna go to sleep soon. I don't know. So thanks for hanging out with me today for the five seconds I was on camera and I will see you tomorrow on Wednesday. Good morning, it's Wednesday. We have our second and final for us uh, day of star testing which is our state assessment, state assessment in Texas. I'm tired. But, um, so there's that. And also the past, I don't know, for a couple of years, I've been thinking that there was something off about my brain. Like I was neurodivergent in some way. And I was really hung up on, um, possibly thinking I was autistic for a while, but, um, the past six months or so, I think I have kind of narrowed that down to ADHD. Um, and I've really been doing a lot of deep diving. It's affecting my mental health. I'm not going to lie. Not the, not the like self diagnosing myself as ADHD, but just the, the ADHD itself. If that's what is what I have, which I'm going to be talking to my doctor about it in the fall. But anyway, just kind of like, um, to update you a little bit, I've been deep diving on that and a lot of the things that I've been feeling in the past week, mental health wise, definitely I think are, um, text from my friend. Um, I've lost it. I've lost it guys. Um, I think are ADHD related is what I'm thinking. So anyway, I don't have a doctor's appointment with my GP until September, but I actually have to change that anyway. So I think I'm going to try and move it up a little bit to August if possible and talk to her about that. I, I want to just kind of keep gathering information. And I, my friend asked me today on a Marco Polo, like why, what, what is it about a diagnosis that you need? And I think for me, it would be medication. So, and also just validation because there's always been part of me that feels like, like I'm not a fully formed human. And for the longest time, I thought that was my weight. Um, I don't know. I don't have a whole lot of time to get into it right now, but I will come back at some point and talk more about that. But just kind of a little update, what I've been thinking about, what I've been looking into. So I am going to go to work. I'm going to come home after, get my stuff together, and I'm staying at Kelly's tonight and tomorrow night. So, and then Friday night, um, Parish's friend's dad passed away and so she's actually going out of town tomorrow so Ellie's going to be staying over here so I'm going to stay home Friday night so that we can hang out um, we also have a birthday party for my aunt and uncle and Kelly and Kaylin are coming to that Parish will obviously still be out of town I don't think Greg's coming um, but that's kind of the schedule for the rest of the week so now I'm going to go to work and be a teacher and be a, a testing monitor and do like testing things. So I will check in with you guys later. So I don't do this very often, but I got a text message from Kelly because she's at lunch and she's at Pollo Reggio, I think is how you say it. And she sent a picture of her nachos. So I had to order it like from the one that's in my neighborhood. And I ordered it kind of late and scheduled it for between 11.50 and 12.10. So I went down to go get it because my lunch starts at 12.15 and it wasn't here. And I looked at the app. It's not going to be here until 2.30, between 2.34 and 2.45. And I'm like, that's when we go to recess. So that's a little disappointing, but I'll survive. I am really, really, really hungry though. It arrived. I am home temporarily. I'm going to grab my stuff and then I'm heading to Kelly's house. Um, we don't really have any specific plans other than she's gonna show me where to pick Kaylin up tomorrow and where to take her to Sephora. So that should be good. I am done with testing, star testing. We still have map testing in a couple of weeks, but star testing is like, ugh, it's like a whole other monster. Um, Kelly had her program for her pre-K kids at her school, um, and I know she's relieved to be done with that. It looked really cute from the pictures I saw, so I'm looking forward to hearing more about that tonight. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna head in and throw my stuff in a bag and probably 
hit the road shortly thereafter. So I should be checking in with you again. Um, but if I don't, I will see you tomorrow. Good morning. It is Thursday. I have a heating pad. I don't even think I turned it on today. My back's been bothering me a lot lately. Um, anyway, um, I stayed at Kelly's last night. I'm home to get ready for work. And I was just going to touch on the ADHD thing. Um, so I think I mentioned a couple of days ago that I have started to have some realizations about myself and about how my brain works over the past year and a half, two years. Um, I was very like convinced that I was somewhere on the autism spectrum for a while. And my family was like, that's ridiculous. You're absolutely not. And I talked to my friend who was a sped teacher. I'm like, do you think I could be autistic? And she said, no, like immediately, like, no. So the reason why was just because of different things that like, I can't even remember specifically, but there were like reasons why. And I definitely felt like my brain is not um, neurotypical. Um, and so the past year or so, I've kind of thought more that I was ADHD. Um, and to be clear, I do not have a diagnosis. This is all stuff that I've researched. This is something I plan on talking to my GP about when I go back, which won't be until the fall or until late summer anyway. And the more I read about it, the more I'm like, yeah, yep, yes. And I did mention in my vlog last week, I was having like kind of a mental health crisis um, and just struggling with feelings of inadequacy. And I, I tend to be somebody who lives very much in the past a lot of the time instead of in the present. And looking, I do, or a little, blah, blah, blah. okay, so like more past and future. I'm, I have a hard time being in the present. I'm always looking ahead or I'm looking back. And um, I think I came across something the other day and I was talking to my mom at length about this and we had a really good productive conversation. She was very supportive and receptive to what I was telling her. And um, a lot of what I had read, I had um, ended up searching ADHD and feelings of inadequacy and that's like a whole thing. It's a whole thing. And this is something I've always felt. Um, and I think I mentioned that it's kind of a feeling of not being a fully formed human. And I blamed that on my weight for the longest time. Um, I still have weight to lose. I'm still, you know, not a, a thin average sized person, maybe average, but not a thin person. I don't know that I ever will be. I mean, I'm still losing weight. So, um, maybe I'm very comfortable at the weight that I'm at right now. So I would be okay if I stayed here. I would like to lose more. Um, I think just out of almost spite <laughs> about BMI and like hit my BMI just so at my, not my doctor, my doctor is great. Just like, just to prove a point, like I feel like hitting my BMI, which is another 80 pounds away for me. I would be so rail thin. I, I can't even imagine it. I don't want to be rail thin. I'm okay with having meat on my bones and being curvy and being a bigger girl. I'm okay with that. That's who I've always been. Um, I'm comfortable with it. I don't know. I feel like, and, and this is another thing, like what I do on the vlogs where I just kind of like talk circles around things. I'm like, mm, maybe, maybe it's ADHD. I don't know. But anyway, so that's kind of what it's been on my mind a lot lately. Um, just trying to get over these feelings of inadequacy. Um, and try to appreciate who I am as I am. Past and present. I don't know what the future holds. Um, I do know that my future holds Kelly. I know it does. Like, I felt very confident in our relationship. I know that she does too. Um, it's just kind of one of those when you know, you know kind of things. And I just don't have any doubts about that. Um, so, anyway, all that to say, this is my brain. 
and it's something I'm going to continue looking into. Definitely going to talk to my doctor about it and see what next steps are for finding out how to be diagnosed and if I have that diagnosis, like, officially. But all that being said, um, we are done with star testing. I am wearing a Mickey Mouse sweatshirt that I thieved from Parrish, well, really from Ellie, because she had put it in a garage sale, and I'm like, that is coming home with me, actually staying here with me. And I'm also wearing a pair of shorts that Kelly gave me, so I'm wearing like all second, <laughs> like clothes, hand-me-downs, if you will. Um, but yeah, so today I am going to rush after school back up north of Fort Worth to pick up Kaylin from school, and then we are going to Sephora, we're going to get some food. Um, I'm going to stay up at their house tonight again. And then tomorrow, as I mentioned earlier, we have a birthday party for my aunt and uncle here. And Ellie is staying this weekend because Parrish is going out of town for a friend's father's funeral. So I'm going to hang out with Ellie tomorrow night and stay here at the house. So I'm very much looking forward to that. Um, I just really love spending quality time with that kid. She's amazing. Anyway, I don't even know like what my plan is for today at school. I'm just going to kind of wing it and see. But I'm tired. I'm not getting enough sleep. I'm going to sleep too late. I'm getting up too early. Um, sometimes when I've been lying down to go to sleep, I can't turn my brain off. Um, and that's just been kind of a recent thing. So I just need to try and get more sleep and try to go to bed early tonight. Um, yeah, so I guess that's the update for now. I will check back in with you on my way to work and then again later on. All right. So in a weird turn of events, um, Parrish and Ellie were just here because they were dropping Biscuit off because Biscuit's staying at the house with Ellie this weekend. And I guess they came in as I was going through the garage. And so Parrish had texted me. I'm like, wait, y'all are here now. I'm in the back. So we just had a little conversation. So um, I felt bad because Ellie didn't know I wasn't going to be here tonight. And she was like, oh, no, I'll see you today because I said I'd see you tomorrow. And I was like, no, I'm going to be at Kelly's because I'm picking up Kaylin today. And then she was right because I did see her today. She was absolutely right. So I'm going to go to work and knock this day out. And I realized I left all my silver jewelry at Kelly's in my bag. So it's a gold jewelry day today with my name necklace from Mitten Lily. But I never get to wear it. I don't wear it very often. So anyway, I'll send my flamingo earrings that I got a couple weeks ago. And I don't want to go to work. But I'm going to go to work and be a productive adult. And I will catch you guys later. Bye. Hi. It is Thursday evening. I am at Kelly's. She's actually not here. She's at a meeting. Um, I picked Kaylin up from school and we went to Sephora. I feel like I'm talking really quietly, but, um, we had fun. It was fun. And I'm eating Whataburger that I started like two hours ago. So chicken strips, because that is the only thing that anybody should ever get at Whataburger. Um, it's the chicken strips. Always the chicken strips with the gravy. Always. Meanwhile, I'm thinking... I'm going to be working on this for a little bit. We'll see if it happens, but I'm going to go ahead and bid adieu for tonight and I will see you tomorrow, which is Friday. Yay. Good morning. It's Friday and I'm back home and I'm being attacked viciously by this angry little dog who's staying here. So I think I mentioned Parrish is out of town. So Ellie and Biscuit are staying at mom's. I'm, I think I said I'm back home already. I don't remember. Anyway, so she's looking me in the face. And it's going to be a good day because it's Friday. Say hi. Say hi to the people. Say hi to all three of our fans. Hi, three fans. Okay. All right. So I'm in the car ready to go to work. Um, Kelly had a meeting last night at Starbucks. And so she got me um, a caramel macchiato, but without the ice. So I just added ice to it. So I'm going to have that to enjoy today. <sighs> I'm gonna run to Barnes and Noble 
at some point before the birthday gathering tonight to get um, gift cards for my aunt and uncle for their birthdays. And Parrish is out of town, but Greg is supposed to come. Ellie's obviously here. Kelly and Caitlin are coming. So it'll, it'll be a good little time. We're just going to order pizza and hang out and enjoy each other's company. And, um, yeah, so Ellie got herself up this morning. Mom got herself up this morning. I didn't have to wake anybody up. And um, I'm just going to try and power through this day. It's Friday. I, I can make it, right? Right? I hope I can. Um, that's my, my hope, is that, I, that I will survive. So, and then we just have four weeks left of school, which is wild. Wild. So I will catch up with you guys this afternoon. I am home for the day. I just went to Barnes & Noble and got gift cards. And now I'm gonna go in and get things tidied up, you know? Not this garage though, just ignore that. Just kidding. Here's Ellie and Biscuit. Look at Biscuit looking like a little person. <laughs> Ew, she's being a freak, I don't like her. What? Oh, isn't that not nice? She looks like a baby. Oh, hi, you coming to see me? Hi. Okay. All right. So we are just waiting for our guests to arrive and for pizza. We're having pizza and cake. I'll have you know. So that's fun. Um, I didn't know the last time I had birthday cake. Very messy pizza place. Looks Ellie is screencasting every single photo and every single video she's ever taken on her phone. From don't her show phone the show, to the TV right now. Don't show, don't I didn't show. show it. I should have really like have a second. But um, so that's what we're doing on this Friday night. Everyone went home and we're just hanging out and oh, the violence. What happened to Biscuit? I don't know. Oh. She's dead. Oh that's <laughs> terrible. Poor Bicky. Dude, we have to watch the video. Oh, we gotta watch the video, guys. So it's the end of another Friday night. It was a great night with family. We had Papa John's, which I don't think I've had since I had surgery. Um, we had cake for the birthdays. And Kelly and Kaylin were here. Greg was here. And it's a good thing he was because mom ended up pinching her finger like in one of the dining room chairs where it had come loose. And trigger warning if you're sensitive to anything like gross and bloody just move forward move forward but anyway she ended up like getting a really severe gash in her finger that wouldn't even stop bleeding for the longest time I hope it has now but Greg said it wouldn't be able to be um stitched up because there wasn't enough skin to stitch together if that makes sense so he took care of her he ended up going to CVS and getting like some like surgical glue type stuff to glue it back closed so it would hopefully stop bleeding. But she got all bandaged up. She did not sleep well last night so she went to bed after everybody left and hopefully she's getting a good night's sleep. Parrish told her to take Tylenol before she went to bed so that the pain, so it would be on top of the pain from her finger. And um, anyway, so that happened. So that was eventful. Um, and I also ordered a new watch band. As you can see, my watch is looking a little bit loose. And I could take the links out of this one, but I've actually had it. You can kind of see it's like scuffed up and stuff. I've had it for a while. Um, but the one I got is just like a black rubber like watch band. So I'm going to try and change that out tomorrow. Um, but yeah, that was my night. I'm really glad it's Friday. I hope I go to sleep very soon. And I also hope that I sleep late tomorrow. So thank you for sticking around this week. And please comment, like, or subscribe. or all of the above. And I will see you next week. Bye. Still recording. Still recording. Yeah, baby. We're still recording. <laughs>